Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Porn by Kathleen Miller. How are you all doing here now? <laughs> okay, let's not start this film because I'm going to get a laughing fit. He's in the background laughing. I think I, I think I was laughing so hard to myself that the camera was jiggling. It was, because first of all, you're dressed like you're going to the Klondike. You live in Arizona and he's got this heavy shirt, long sleeve flannel shirt on, and here I am like this, and looking at him, I'm hot. But I know I'm hot. Anyways. Oh, oh gee. So, anyways. <laughs> Conceited. No, I mean, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, hot blood. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, hot flashes. Oh, hot well, blood, yeah, that's true. You know, now nah, I'm over that. Never did get them anyway, so. Okay, I'm gonna show you my finished paintings that I just uh, put my third coat of varnish on. They are dry, they are ready to go. Phil will upload these into my Etsy shop. This is... Um, it's a crossing swipe. It is, it's a crossing swipe with all of the pinks and the golds and the browns. And it, this was done with a uh, brown cell activator, which was, um, I can't remember the name of it. The brown, anyways. But yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It turned out really, really pretty. And these can all be hung outside or inside Nothing will damage them. This is another one. My 16 inch round with all the burgundies, the golds, the pinks. And this was Phil's idea to bring, bring them into the middle and to cross them over. That one turned out really yeah, pretty too. Yeah, it turned out cool. This was my Tree, tree with the stained glass background. background. Yeah, that turned out really nice too. It was a lot of fun to do. It looks like a winter tree with no leaves. Mm -hmm. Here's another 16 inch round. Uh, people thought it looked like a garden with all the different colors and everything. Like I said, these all have three coats of uh, gloss varnish on. They can go inside or out. And last but not least is this beautiful turquoise and blue and gold 16 by 20 swipe. This one's really pretty. Yeah, that turned out really it's, nice. It's beautiful. Can you see the shine in it or not? Well, it's just, I mean, we're just it's, not picking it up. It's it a is shame beautiful. It's, it's very nice and shiny. Yeah, in person, this, it's stunning. It's really stunning. Yeah, that negative space really sets it off. It does. So there we have five of the finished ones. Phil's gonna upload them to uh, Etsy, so just go ahead and go around and look in there. Okay, so this is a 12 by 12 canvas. I already have my uh, base down, which is color place, ready to use, white parentheses satin. There's no silicone, there's no water, there's no glue in this base. It's just plain out of the can. And I got some new boom gel stain paints in the mail yesterday so i think i have all of the pearlescent so i'm going to do a pearlescent um stained glass today wow on my 12 by 12. i think there's 11 different pearlescent colors here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yep there's 11. this is the boom gel stain and these i said are all the pearlescent colors they come in 250 mLs, and they come in the little baby one of the 100 mLs. Okay, so what colors you got Okay, there? so this one is pearlescent red. I have pearlescent sunset, pearlescent yellow, pearlescent pink, pearlescent baby blue, Pearlescent Cherry, Pearlescent Pearl, Pearlescent Teal, Pearlescent Violet, Pearlescent Watermelon, and Pearlescent Mauve. I do want to mention that we work with an American distributor. Boom Gels are Australian products, but we do have a U.S. distributor. And I have a direct link in the description box under Boom, De Boom Gel Stains. 
so you can get all these products along with, by the way, Australian Floetrol available. You don't have to wait weeks and weeks to get it from Australia. Correct. So oh, and and there's a 15% discount coupon code in there too. So uh, yeah, that's off your entire order. So it's yeah. just not off one thing. It's off your entire order. And she's out of Florida. She ships immediately. And her name is Aubrey. She's wonderful. So here we go with our boom gel stain. And sometimes it comes out real fast, so I have to be really careful. And like I said, this is going to be my um, stained glass effect, which I do my drizzle, my swipe, and away we go. You do a drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin to get your Correct. stained glass effect. So Correct. You didn't mention the last two. Well, I know I was going to, but I thought, eh, you were flagging something. So I'm thinking, well, he wants to say it, so I'll just let him talk. And um, you don't have to do any mixing with these Boom Gel stains. They are already mixed for you. You don't have to add anything to them. They are ready to go. That's right nice. out of the bottle. That's nice. You're not spending hours and hours of mixing paints, paints and like pigments I did and yesterday, so forth. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Phil, it's kind of funny because he'll he'll be downstairs and he'll go, Kate, Kate, where are you? My reply is, where am I usually? <laughs> Upstairs mixing paints. Okay. This is the pearlescent yellow. Yeah, you usually uh, use your mornings for mixing paints and pigments and getting prepared for what you want to do that day. And then late morning, early afternoon is usually when we do the videoing. Unless I uh, have bubbles in my paints, then we don't do it until the next day. Well, that's true. But you usually have some from the previous day. So you'll make them up, let them sit a day, and then use them for that day's video. Yep. So all those right next to those paintings, they were all made up yesterday, so they're ready to go. Uh, this is pearlescent pink. I'm dying to see how these are all going to look together. That's another thing you don't have to worry about with the boom jaws. They're ready to go. You can, whenever you want to use them, you just use them. I know, it's great. It is great. Uh, this is the baby blue. Ooh, this one's pretty. You've used these boom gels in several different techniques. Um, you did a bloom with them, and I think a swipe, crossing swipe with them. Um, and of course, the, what you're doing today, the stained glass, and uh, they really turn out wonderfully with the colors. This is the cherry. I like that color. Mm -hmm. Even though boom gel stains do not need to be made with a recipe, they're pre-made, Kathy does have a, a wonderful recipe video or secret recipes that she uses for pigments and paints and that is a recipe 478. I'll have a direct link to that in the description box. Yeah, it's a great. That's a great uh, video to watch. What color are you putting on now? This is the pearl. That video uh, actually talks about and explains how Kathy does her base, how she does her pouring mediums, and how she does her cell activator. It covers the whole shazam. Take some notes when you watch it. Take some notes. You can stop it. Take some notes. Keep it in your binder or whatever. When you want to know, just go to your binder, open it up to the page, Kathleen's Recipes, and voila, you got it. <laughs> That's what I do. What color is this now? Um, Violet. Violet. Remember we had a neighbor named Violet? We did, and then her hair was usually Violet. Too. It was. It really was. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, my goodness. 
I know one day, because she was pretty little, and I said, hey, Viol. And she goes, my name is Violet. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, my goodness, your hair matches your name. She goes, I know, I just love it, don't you? And I said, yeah, I really do. She was really cute. Yes. I've not, that's the only Violet I've ever known. I agree. I don't know any other violets. Yeah, me either. I do want to mention that there's lots of wonderful information in the description box. Uh, there's links to all the different products that Kathy uses. Uh, discount links to all her affiliate products, which would be Color Place, uh, these Boom Gels, Arteza, and KS Resin. So some nice discounts off those products. So if you're looking to save some money and need some supplies, check those out. All the colors Kathy is using in this project will be listed in the description box also. Yeah, I want to me uh, mention for uh, color art, there is a 25% off coupon till the end of the month. And the coupon code is Kathy25. It's in our description as Kathy20, but to the end of the month, it's Kathy25. Oh, at the end of January. Or but, January. Uh, my worry is this video may not be on by then. It might be on just the day before that. Hopefully, I get it on. Well, you in might time. not, but if if you do, then it's Kathy twenty five. But otherwise, just use my Kathy twenty. No, it's Kathy five twenty. Oh, Kathy five twenty. <laughs> You're gonna get everybody so confused. Easiest way, just go to the description box. <laughs> There'll be links and codes for all uh, the products that Kathy is talking about. So, this is what the drizzle should look like if you're doing the. Stained glass effect with the drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin. This is what you want. All the different colors all over the canvas. Okay, everybody, you can tell that I'm just the artist here. I don't, I don't upload anything, so if I give you wrong information, just listen to Phil because he knows all the information about that. So I only know about paints. Well, so that's, away we go. that's all you need to know about. Yeah, I'll that's take it. care of the rest. Oh. Okay, so there's Kathy's black. Black Magic is going to be my one I'm using today as my cell activator with this. Floetrol and black Amsterdam paint. She just put some on a plain old playing card. And voila. Lightly swipes over the colors that she put down. And as you can see, it starts to create cells instantaneously oh. in all different kinds of colored cells. Hope everybody's having a good day today. I know I am because I didn't have to mix paints. <laughs> it's always a good day when I don't have to mix paints. And I love doing these. I love doing the stained glass. Yes. You really come up with some beautiful, beautiful colorations. So I mean just, you know, have fun and try the stained glass effect. Uh, leave me a comment. If you want, share this video with your friends. And we have hit 20,000 subscribers, and I want to thank every single one of you. Oh my gosh, when I saw that today, I was doing the happy dance. <laughs> and you all know I love to dance. Look at the cells we're getting. So, I mean, I was doing my happy dance. This is exactly what you're supposed to get with the way Kathy swipes with her cell activator. So it's very important to have the correct cell activator recipe and also gently swiping that cell activator over the drizzled paints, pigments, or boom gels. And Phil can tell you, you have to swipe gently. He did this and you can't press into your paint. You do have to practice, that's for sure. You yeah, got to get do. the right amount of pressure. If you get too much pressure, it goes down into the base paint and just smears everything around, which is, of course, not what you want. You want it to make cells. And look at all the different colored cells that she's getting in this area here. The orange, the purple, the blue, even some white from the white that you put in there and mm -hmm. so forth. The so, pearl. The pearl. Yes. That's why I wanted to put that in because it's like that pearl is really pretty. It helps to set off the other colors. It does. Oh, wow, is this going to be cool? Yes. I'm getting excited, Phil. 
Gonna be doing my happy dance pretty soon. I'll grab your arm, we can go doing the polka around. Oh, brother. Remember the polka, how on the organ I would play the beer barrel polka? Oh yes. my God, was that fun. But Phil can tell you I'm a dancer. Whenever I go out, which now I don't go out, but when I go out, if we ever go into a store and there's music, I, I just start dancing. I don't even realize I'm dancing. Well, you can't have music on when you paint no. because you start no. jigging around and, no. and dancing and yeah. you don't really get much done. I don't. Sometimes that's okay too because I really miss my dancing. Ooh, look at this, Phil. Mm -hmm. Is this not going to be cool? And um, these playing cards that I'm using, they're in our uh, description box as well in our Amazon shop. So uh, take a look there if you want some of that too. Oh yeah, any supplies you may need, uh, or a lot of supplies anyways, you can get through the Amazon shop. You can get this puppy pool, you can get the spinner, you can get the liner for the puppy pool. Uh, as Kathy said, you can get the playing cards that she uses, along with probably a hundred different products that she uses in her paint pouring. So there's a direct link to the Kathy's Amazon shop, her Redbubble shop, and her Etsy shop in the description box. Yeah. So take a little gander in there too. Okay, I think okay. I've got not, well I might just do a few of these now little this rivers here. Is a good representation of what it should look like after the swiping stage. You simply want tons and tons of cells of different colors spread throughout the uh, surface of the canvas or board if you're doing it on a board. Yeah, you can do it on a board. Kathy has done these on boards, of course on tabletops, um, on wine racks, and so you can do it on a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. On uh, wood medallions. Yes. I did it on a tray. So, I mean, you can do this on a bunch of stuff. Okay, now I'm all set for the next one with that. See that, Phil? Look at how I tidy up here. You are Miss Efficient. Oh, I am. <laughs> okay, so. I'll just see something once. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't. I know me. I don't think you should do that. I just gotta see if that okay. works. Somebody said, you know, blow them out. So I. I think that works on blooms very nicely. I don't believe it works on this. I don't believe it works, believe on, it works on the stained. Right. I always said stained glass. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little wrecking with my little wrecking stick. Do we want. Do we want wide on this or not so wide? I don't know. This is a smallish canvas, so Probably not wide. I think I don't think I do a lot of wrecking, but that's up to you. Make sure you wipe off whatever tool you use when you wreck. So you don't want to drag the paint around. As you can see, when Kathy wrecks, it just puts wispy lines through the in different cells creates just some more interesting effects. I think that's all I'm going to do because it's small. Yes. I think leave it alone. I think that's plenty myself. Okay, so Abracadabra, let's see what you're going to come up with. Okay. As you can hear, the paint is just splashing off to no end. Ah! Oh, wow. You want to go the other yep. way, though? Yes, I do. And look, I even got the right way. You did. You did. I didn't have to ask you. <laughs> I usually have to ask Phil because I don't remember which way I'm going. Oh, is oh, this wow. pretty? Look at this. Oh man, live people. See, what the spinning does and why it's so important is it expands the cells. As you can see, these cells have expanded. But look at the color that's been retained inside the cells. Just fabulous color. These bloom gel stains really 
are vibrant and uh, we've got lots of color. This and the is reason beautiful. Kathy uses the black cell activator is as you can see, the cells are surrounded by the black cell activator. This is beautiful. This is really pretty. That, this turned out really, it's really gorgeous. nice. It is gorgeous, people. We'll take another tour around here. Wow. Look I'm really glad size. I put um, the pearl in because it really made some nice outlined uh, white cells in it. It did. It made some white, nice mm -hmm. white cells, and it also shades some of the colored cells right. a little bit here and there. This is really, really pretty. Oh, I'm excited. Yes, I am, people. So, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Uh, leave me a comment. These Boom Gel stains are absolutely amazing. Like I said, you don't have to do a thing to it. You just shake the bottle, open it up, squeeze it out. And I want to mention again that, of course, this is the stained glass effect that Kathy did. And you use the drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin technique to accomplish this. Mm -hmm. And each step is very important to be done properly. And this is the uh, result you can get. Yep, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So please subscribe to our channel. Uh, like I said, we hit 20,000 today. I was doing my happy dance. Oh my gosh, I'm taking the dog for a walk and I'm doing this and that and people are looking at me like, what's wrong with that woman? There's no music. I have it in my head. So I want to <laughs> thank you. We love all of you. Um, if you know anybody that wants to join our channel, ship them on over here. We'd be happy to have them into our family. And please go to my Facebook page, Kathleen Paint Point by Kathleen Miller, and join our Facebook page as well. I mean, we're up to like 4,700 people in there now. And there's a lot of great artists in there. That's where you can publish uh, all of your creations and ask questions. So until the next time, everybody, I hope everybody stays well, stay happy, stay safe, and remember this is only paint. Bye. Take another look at this beauty here. This is so colorful.